ペカじゃん<笑>ソニックスピードハハウディ guys, Super Mario T here. Welcome to a brand new Let's Play on the channel alongside Sonic 2, CD, 3, Knuckles. Basically, alongside the Road to Sonic Mania, I'm gonna be playing through Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Finally, it's something that's not a spin off of a Mario game. I'm actually playing something along the lines of the main Mario game. But without a hesitation, I'm just gonna get right into it. Let's go. Alright, so as you can see here, we're already at the Grand Prix. I got 3 stars on 50cc, 100cc, every cup done but 150 cc we got three stars on the bell cup here's an interesting fact if you get a certain rank on a higher class such as 150 cc 200 cc if you get like three stars one star that kind of stuff it also applies to a lower class like 50 or 100 because while i was doing 50 and 100 cc all of yesterday i accidentally went to the bell cup on 150 cc and i got three stars on that no problem but when I checked and went down to 150, that was there. So I'm like, wait, why don't... Because I'm I'm dead positive I didn't play 150cc in this game. Though, <clears throat> it turns out I went to the Mario Kart TV to check my replay. And it turns out I played that cup on 150. So that confused me. And apparently, that was enough to actually count towards 100cc. So if you play on a higher class, it also applies to a previous class. If you get a bronze, you get a bronze on a lower class as well. But I'm rambling. We're going to do 150cc, mirror, and 200cc. We'll get there. But the thing I kind of want to do is I might want to do double uploads. I'm not too sure about that. I don't know if I'm going to have the time, but I want to try and at least get there. Now, with this deluxe version, we got five new characters. King Boo, Bowser Jr., Dry Bones, Inkling Boy, and Inkling Girl. And... Hmm... See, I'm not going to go with the main cast, like the Mario Bros, the Princesses, Bowser, and all that. I'm not going to go with them right off the bat. I kind of just want to jump around a little bit more. I'm definitely going to do the newcomers. But for the Mushroom Cup, I kind of want to do... Do Baby Peach. We'll just, we'll just start off simple. I already unlocked several car, car, car parts, wheels... Hang gliders, and let's see. Uh, I'll go with this one since I never used it. Wild Wiggler. Cushion. Alright, as I was playing this game, the only controller I ever used were the Joy-Con grip and a single Joy-Con. I actually got used to using a singular Joy-Con, and it actually, it's not that bad. But let's see. Obviously, we're going to start with the Mushroom Cup. Let's just get into it. Oh, shit! Mario Kart Stadium. Man, this game... I know this game was beautiful on the Wii U. But to be honest, I think this 1080p actually does make a difference. You can see... I'm pretty sure you can see the individual details on the ground before, but I th because it's slightly more crisp, slightly more defined, it's easier to appreciate it. Move, man. Whoops. Oh yeah, they added... Th a feature they added into this game, excuse my stumbling, you can hold two items at once, and if you look up ahead, you got the return of the double item boxes for Mario Kart Double Dash. Like I said before, the only controller I used while I was playing this was the Joy-Con Grip and a singular Joy-Con. I got used to it, and I used the Joy-Con Grip. I bought the Pro Controller as I went out to get this game, and holy crap does this controller feel so good. It feels so comfortable. I honestly think it might be in my top three like, yeah, literally top three favorite controllers. GameCube's the best. You cannot top the GameCube controller, hands down. But this is probably number three, maybe even number two. Well, actually, now that I think about it, I'm thinking about the PS4 controller. But I mean, just look at, around the place. Because I was playing on 50 and 100, I was taking my sweet time. And I actually took the time to reappreciate this game because this game was beautiful on the Wii U. And to think this is getting ported over to the Switch? So far, in my opinion, this game is probably the prettiest game on the Switch. But just think, just think, guys. A Mario game this beautiful 
with Super Mario Odyssey coming this Christmas, imagine how fabulous that game is gonna look. Just the thought. Oh, I'm just excited just thinking about it. But yeah, no problems. We're just. Oh, right when I say that, I see a blue shell on the map. Please. Turn my luck around. Okay, guess not. We're pretty far ahead of the track, though. The pack, not the track. Well, kind of. But first place, really no trouble. See, I'm hoping I get double uploads like we do the Mushroom Cup and the Flower Cup. To be honest, we might actually do triple uploads, because if I do double uploads of this and Sonic 2, CD, 3, Knuckles, depending if I actually do remain consistent with that series, I might be looking at an increase of content on my channel, just like an increase of content here. And we're going to go to the water park. Can we go to Splish Splash? Because it's literally 80 degrees from where I live. Shouts out to the East Coast people. I live in New York to be precise, and it is boiling. It was worse yesterday. I was dying yesterday. But man, has it got hotter. <clears throat> Let me also say, it actually feels good to have a game other than Breath of the Wild on the Switch. I mean, there were other games on the Switch before, but most people consider Breath of the Wild to be the only game. I mean, you have Bomberman, Puyo Puyo Tetris, freaking World of Goo, 1-2-Switch, and a bunch of other games. But Zelda is the biggest AAA title we got on this system. Okay, really? I'm sorry, baby peach bitch, princess bitch. Excuse me? <clears throat> right, let's fly up here. Baby Mario? Excuse you? Oh, son of a... I tried throwing you in front of him, hoping he'd slip on it. Oh, God. Okay, this is gonna get a little bit more hectic than I was expecting. I mean, it's not that hard. When it, especially when it comes to Mario Kart, I'm no pushover. When it comes to almost any Mario game out there, I'm no pushover. I'll smoke your ass in Mario Kart 8. Oh yeah, in this game they introduced an upgrade to the drift. You know how you drift, you get blue sparks and orange sparks? Now if you drift longer, there are pink sparks. Or magenta. Or purple. I kind of want to call them magenta, but I'm pretty sure they're just called purple. Or pink. I don't know. I'll probably go back and forth. I might want to stick with magenta, because I actually like the color magenta. One of my favorite colors when I was a little kid, along with yellow. But I'm kind of sidetracking. Ah, oh, baby peach, you're cute. Fucking babies. Babies driving carts. Babies smoking grown-ass people. And mutant dragon turtles. And, and a racing game. What kind of logic is that? Fly, baby, fly! Or fall. I mean, so far we're killing it. Plus, another reason I want to do double uploads is because of the fact that 200cc, obviously, it being the hardest class, being the fastest class, and a lot of people would rather see people play that than 150 in Mirror. Granted, you guys have never seen me play Mario Kart on my channel, so I figured this would be a good time to introduce that. And I'm in love with this controller. Sweet, sweet king. And this does not remind me of Wreck-It Ralph at all. Or sweet, sweet galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy. Some may say Sonic Colors, but really Galaxy came out before Sonic Colors. Sonic Colors ripped off Galaxy. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Physics of both games are different. If anything, if anything with that logic, Sonic Adventure 2 ripped off Super Mario Galaxy. I mean, Galaxy ripped off Sonic Adventure 2. I had that backwards. Because Crazy Gadget, Final Rush, Final Chase, mostly Crazy Gadget, Gravi Gravity had an effect in that level. And here we go, my boys. I hear it's rare to get the purple sparks in 150 and especially 200. Of course, that makes sense. With those being the faster classes. Oh yeah, this course was pretty much the main reason why I decided I'll go with Baby Peach. Because the thing with me and Mario Kart, especially with the modern Mario Karts, I kind of like choosing courses that sort of match the character's description. Like, Sweet Sweet Canyon, I could see going up Baby Peach's alley. And obviously Mario Circuit goes up Mario's alley. Uh, Electrodrome. I feel like Electrodrome goes up Roy's alley. Oh, that was... That was, that was perfect timing. If I hesitated any longer, I would have gotten hit. And we're just killing it right now. 
That's honestly no tr Okay. Compared to Mario Kart 8, there are two brand new items, well not brand new, but two returning items they bought back. Oh god. The boo, which you just saw, which when someone uses the boo, it could steal an item of someone who's ahead of you. And the feather, which is exclusive to battle mode, where you could jump and get a speed boost, and you could use that to steal shines, coins, balloons, or whatever else you could do in battle mode. I haven't even touched battle mode since I got this game, believe it or not. I mean, I like battle mode. It's fun. It's mainly one of those modes that where you would want to play when you have a friend or family over. Plus, I mean, you have Luigi's Mansion for Mario Kart Double Dash back. SNES Battle Course 1. I mean, that seems fun to me. And the new courses look good too. Urchin Underpass, um, Lunar Colony. I might try that out in a future video, but... Yeah. Oh, another thing about the multiplayer aspect. I am so excited to bring this game with me at college, because here's the thing. You just need one Joy-Con to play this game. And the social encouragement is going to be so easy and amazing with it. N not just this game, but God knows what other games will come to the Switch. And right now, we're going to move on to Thwomp Ruins. An interesting course, honestly. <clears throat> Let me know in the comments below what's your favorite track in the Mushroom Cup. Because I think my favorite might be... Granted, the Mushroom Cup is one of my lesser favorite cups. But... I'd say... Hmm. It's a rough pick between Thwomp Ruins and Mario Kart Stadium. Actually... I actually gotta think about this for a second, because, I mean, again, it's one of my less favorite tracks, a uh, less favorite cups, excuse me, and I'm not sure which one is better, because, I mean, if you ask me, the terms of quality for each of them is roughly the same. I guess Sweet Sweet Canyon for the interesting visuals and track design. Apparently there was an infamous mechanic called fire hopping in Mario Kart 8 and they scrapped that in the deluxe version. To be honest, if you if you're on the fence of getting Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Switch, I say get it, but only for the fact that it's Mario Kart 8 on the Switch. And oh, ah damn it. I was trying to figure out oh come now, really? Alright, I say get Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Switch, only because not only is it Mario Kart 8 on a next-gen console with a couple extra features, Mario Kart 8 is already a big-ass game, and a beautiful one at that. But, <clears throat> it's, it's a Mario Kart you can take with you on the go, as well as the fact the social engagement is super easy. It's a lot like the Wii, where basically anyone could get into it. Like, when Wii Sports came out, everyone, my freaking parents were into that shit. Motion control was so huge back then, some might get annoyed by it, but back then it was huge. And I think with how easily accessible this game could be, especially when it comes to multiplayer, like, I think that's a good reason to pick up this game, even if you own the Wii U version. I think it's, I'd say it's roughly worth the double dip. As much as I was down on it before, I say it's worth the double dip, only because it's Mario Kart 8 on the go, and the fact you could play it easily with anyone you'd like as long as you bring your switch with you and for as long as it took me to talk we just blazed through the mushroom cup like it was nothing i told you i'm no pushover when it comes to mario kart but 200 cc is where shit gets real yeah i'm not watching this got the gold i'm bringing home the gold for you guys three star rank got 950 coins a new vehicle customization was unlocked but that's gonna be it for this episode Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you'll enjoy this LP. And you'll notice the tone of my voice is being adjusted, because I don't like sounding monotone in my LPs. I look back at my Sonic LPs, I hate how monotone I sound. But honestly, I kind of like this. It, it's like a natural... F it's slightly natural. Yeah, it is more natural. I, I think I'm too... Also, it's probably because I was up early recording Sonic 2. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. I already said that. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next cup.
Stay super.